we believe that quality will come from the non-governmental sector, scale will come from the government, and the two have to actually work in tandem if we have to bring about a revolution in the manner in which education is to be delivered in this country. There are one and a half million government schools and really systems transformation is about what systems, procedures, technology, organization development, structures are important in order to make those schools work. Just imagine a system with 12 million employees. There is no company which has ever handled that sort of size and really that's the size of the number of teachers in India, 12 million. So what are the structures and processes that you need to keep a group like that energized, positive, uh, on task and accountable? And really systems transformation looks at it from that lens, uh, saying what are the systems and procedures required to make a large government system work? Empirical evidence shows that the largest lever for bringing about any gains in student learning is actually teachers. 33% impact on student learning gains comes directly from teachers. And the second key lever is actually school leaders. These are our school principals, our heads of school. 25% impact of any gain in student learning outcome can directly be attributed to the school leadership in that school. People will start grouping in together to focus on common geographies, common ideologies, uh, working with the governments together because now uh, people are thinking very seriously about scale and people are going beyond uh, you know, just conversations, wanting to go that extra mile to ensure good quality programs can be scaled in participation with the government. Bringing a group of funders, advocacy groups and an experienced incubator like ours to work with school operators who then we bring into government schools. Government has the facilities, government has the funding. One is our systemic work, which is the work to improve the large-scale government education system, which is catering to the underprivileged. And therein we have taken a very different approach of not just focusing on the academic reforms in the state, but also on the whole host of administrative reforms. It also requires putting those building blocks for this system to become efficient overall. I do believe that it's not just working in education, but you have to work in the ecosystem around it to create systemic impact. And that's why we believe uh, very strongly that we need to drive collaborative action um, across different sectors, across all the different stakeholders, whether it's funders, nonprofits, government, uh, intermediaries that are supporting the sector to really enable that ecosystem to move forwards. And that's our big bet to drive that collaborative action. So this is a very novel approach that we've taken, but it's, it's very big in India already. We ourselves are supporting four states. So that's our systemic work. And, and that's where we believe the scale is, and that's where we believe a lot of students will get, you know, will achieve their grade level competencies through these changes. Our big bet is that leadership training of middle management is going to transform this country. Uh, there are only 100,000 people who between them control a budget which is 1.2% of our GDP. We believe that if we can cause a delta in their leadership skills of these 100,000 people, uh, there'll be a much greater return on investment in education as a whole. I think that can be a game changer. The more we are able to replicate that kind of idea, it doesn't have to be just us as funders or you know someone else. The more we do it with different governments in this country, the better it is. I think that's a very big uh, opportunity. The bottom line in understanding all this is whether the idea which is working on the ground is politically acceptable, socially desirable, technologically feasible, financially viable and administratively doable. Now the fact that these ideas are actually working on the ground makes us believe that all these five factors, all these five parameters are fulfilled when these models actually work on the ground and that helps us scale much faster than starting a new pilot project.